we should talk um, a little about this uh, notion of, of Israel telling Gazans, telling Palestinians in the Gaza Strip to move before the bombs drop. I don't, I, I mean, I, I don't know how feasible that is. Did the people that are already dead not get the message? Hamas uh, ordering them to stay? Did Hamas use guns? The Israeli government says, get out now, otherwise a bomb will fall upon you tomorrow. And Hamas says, stay where you are, otherwise I'll shoot you today. I, I don't know. I'm probably exaggerating the position, but it sounds very inadequate to me. It, you know, if, if, if it were the case that people were able to remove themselves from the danger zone, then there wouldn't already be 1,500 dead people in the Gaza Strip, would there? And the massive majority or a significant majority of them are, of course, children. And, and that's why, I, I, I mean, Debbie's call was very important because no one really wants to admit what Gerard Baker admits in The Times today, which is that they are supportive of anything now in pursuit of what? in pursuit of vengeance for the absolute horrors of last weekend or in pursuit of, of the destruction of Hamas, which I suspect is impossible, not least because every adult that dies this week leaves a child who becomes immediately more likely to be radicalised as they grow older. And and we spend our time in this country when we're, we're not talking about the... Uh, Hey, look, simple question. How many dead children in Gaza is too many? You could say one. How many dead children in Israel is too many? I would say one. You can't say that. You can't say anything. You have to pretend that it's got something to do with D-Day or it's got something to do with... Uh, that, that, or it doesn't count as a, as a killing because they were given a warning that they were about to be killed. It's, it is just horrible. And I think that's why. And I, I, I understand the temptation. I, I think I almost wish that I was susceptible to it. I'd rather be talking about what, what words the BBC chooses or what flags the Football Association flies. I'd, I'd, I'd much rather be talking about that or, or the editorial decisions of the Daily Telegraph because to actually talk honestly about what's actually happening is almost impossible or, or it's impossibly awful. Because you, you can't. Either you believe that that life is worth more than that life, in which case it's quite easy to engage with this conversation, even though you might not be ready to say out loud that it, it, you know, if, 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 if one of my mine dies, it is much, much worse than if one of them dies. I don't even think that's an evil position or a difficult position to understand. We all feel a bit like that. If this was the Second World War, and, and you, you, you wouldn't feel the same about a German baby dying as you would about in Dresden, as you would about a British baby dying in the Blitz, would you? You just wouldn't. So I'm not even condemning or criticising that position. But it's mad to talk about it from the outside. I, I, for me, Hamas is much, 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 much worse than the Israeli government. But that doesn't change the value of the children killed by both. Does it? Because Hamas is worse than the Israeli government. A child killed by Hamas has more value than a child killed by the Israeli attacks. Of course not. And I think if I was invested in Israel for reasons that are hundreds of years old, remember, that line from Finkelstein on Tuesday, I think, about liberated Jews in a, in a, in a death camp asking where do they go? Where do we go? I asked a guard, a, 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 a Russian soldier who liberated them, are there any Jews left in Poland? And he'd come through Poland. He said, I didn't see any. Where do we go? We go to Israel. So, I, I, listen, this has been a journey for me over the years I've been doing this job. I get it. I get it. The, the, the role that Israel plays in, in the, uh, the, the, the minds of Jewish people is impossible to fully, fully empathize with if you if you don't have a history of persecution a history of pogroms and holocausts of course it does but it doesn't make me care less about palestinian babies than i do about israeli babies and, and that is what people find confusing that's what people like debbie find confusing you don't get it hamas are so obviously awful that we must be free to do whatever we want in pursuit of them however many others die 
And I get that too. I just don't agree. And I'm allowed not to agree. And if I was born under a different sign, I would think differently. If I was born in a different country, I'd think differently. If I was born into a different family, I'd think differently. But I wasn't and I don't. I don't get it. What would I do differently? Well, I have no idea. But I try really, really, really hard not to kill people who've done nothing wrong. I try much, much harder than Hamas do not to kill innocent people. That, that's what I'd do differently, if, if, if that counts as an answer. And the fear is, and indeed in some corners the accusation is, that they're not trying any harder than Hamas to avoid killing innocent civilians. But you need to cling to the idea that they are, which is why you keep intoning about these warnings, which seem to me to be at the very best inadequate and at the very worst utterly meaningless. I need to believe that we're different. So we're giving warnings. That you're about to die. So move. I, I don't know. And the other bit I don't get, to be logistical about it, and, and Anthony King, the uh, professor of um, uh, security at Exeter University, talked about this yesterday. I mean, what's the, what's the point? Because if you're telling civilians to flee, then the terrorists will flee as well, won't they? So you're just trying to destroy the infrastructure, the tunnels, the, the, the weapons, rather than the people. I, that, I suppose it's why suicide bombers came into existence back in the day. I think the first instances of suicide bombers were Tamils in Sri Lanka, actually. It's not, not, not in the Middle East, but these are, um, these are side issues, aren't they? So, so that, there it is. As Frank in Barnet is, is just right, isn't he? It's a completely hopeless and devastating situation on all sides. That is what you are accurately describing. And, of course, it's easy for us to say, Frank, because we're not in it. It's not our family that's dying. It's not our children being butchered by Hamas or bombed by Israel. I don't think it's confusing, actually. I think it's unbearable. If, if your family is being butchered by Hamas or bombed by Israel, I think it's unbearable to, to look at it in the round and to realize that you are actually condoning the killing of civilians, the killing of children, because you think it is necessary. And you might even be right. But the babies don't know what they are, do they? They don't know whether they're Palestinian or Jewish or Israeli or Muslim. They've got no idea until the adults tell them. <laughs>